Hi, in this video we are going to see how to generate multiple figures in MATLAB. So I have already opened a script and saved it and also written these commands. I have already generated an x-axis array for our x-axis value and generated three different functions to be plotted. Now if you don't know what I'm uh, doing here, please watch uh, the previous video I'll link below that will go through each uh, functions and uh, define what are the evaluation of these functions. Now let's just plot it using a plot command. Let's just say x axis is x, y is y1. And if I just plot it, we know that it's going to generate a plot with the x in the x axis and y1, the cosine for x in the y axis. Now, if I if I want to generate another plot in a in a different figure, I can do x comma y2. And if I do this, now you can see the figure one actually has the second function, which is sine x, but doesn't have the first function because MATLAB replaces the latest commands that it has. So in terms of having two different figures, we will use the command called figure uh, as following. So let's just press enter here. Let's just type figure and parenthesis. Let's just say figure two. Now it knows that figure one has this plot. Figure two has the y2 function to be plotted. If I run it, you can see it generated two figures. Figure one has cosine 4x as y1. Figure two has sine x as y2. We can also generate another figure, it's figure three. Now I'll say plot x comma y3. So now it should generate three different plots with three different functions like this. Okay, so this is one way to generate multiple figures uh, from a single script to plot multiple functions. Okay, now let's talk about something which is called subplot in MATLAB. So if I just type help subplot, it has all the definitions of what a subplot does. Now from here, we can see the subplot creates axes in title, tiled positions. So the command takes values like subplot and then m comma n comma p, where m and n defines a m by n matrix and p is the position of the current plot. So let's just comment all these plots and let's just do a subplot command. So if I do subplot and if I want to do a three by one matrix where I have three functions, so I will define three rows, one column. So subplot three rows, comma, one columns, comma, the position. So I will choose the first position as one, comma. So if I just have something like this, and if I run it, you can see I have generated a space. And within that space, I had the first one is plotted. I haven't plot anything, so it's empty. So I need to plot something here. If I change this position from one to say two and run it, now the figure will plot in the second position. I can also choose a third position and so on. So let's just select it as a first position and let's plot it. Let's plot the first function, which was plot x comma y1 and see. Okay, so now you can see the first function cosine four x has been plotted in the first tile of this three by one subplot. So now we can we can define the next subplot as three comma one comma. Now so the position is two. Now it will it will plot in the second position. So let's write x comma y two and run it. And as you can see, the second position has the second function. We can also put another subplot here and let's say three comma one comma three. So this will be the third position and plot x 
it's comma y3. And if we just run it, we can see there's three different functions in one single figure for three different uh, subplots. So with this definition, we can define how many subplots we want and we can place these. If we wanted to do, if we wanted to change two columns, we could have done this. And that way we will have like two columns in this. We can, we can define, define an n by n matrix and plot these subplots. So with this, we, we have learned how to plot multiple figures in a single script and also how to generate a subplot with different tiles to generate different functions in a single MATLAB figure. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.